number B. Okay, so um, this is the area that we want to find. Now, can you tell me, to find this area, you want to integrate y dx or x dy? Which one? This shaded area here. The area between the curve and the y-axis or the area between the curve and the x-axis? Uh, and the y-axis. Correct, it's the y-axis. Because if you want to find the area between the curve and the x-axis, uh, here got double line. Uh, actually, it's quite difficult to find the area between the curve and the x-axis. So we find the area between the curve and the and the y-axis. So, but this area between the curve and the y-axis is bounded by the straight line and also bounded by the curve. So actually, there are two lines. There are two lines there. Okay, uh, let me explain. Okay, so this green part here is between the straight line and the y-axis. Now this white part here is between the curve and the y-axis. So actually the required area can be broken down into two parts. One part is between the line, the straight line and the y-axis. Another part is between the curve and the y-axis. Any question? like this right so the, the 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 dotted line here is the full area that we want to find this full area that we want to find actually consists of two parts one is this green color and one is the white color one so if you want to find the area you, you subtract or you add them together Pardon, teacher. This 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 whole area here is what we want to find, right? Now this whole area can be broken down into two parts. One is this green color, the other one is the white color. So how to find them? These two parts. Mm, You add them together, right? Okay. Right. Now before we find before you before you find the area, you should find out these points P, Q, R and S. So you find this the coordinates of these three points you can actually know the coordinates the triangle the, the the size of the triangle and so on the upper limit and lower limit right so uh, before you try to find the area try to find out this the, the coordinates of these uh, vertices vertices of the shaded area right? Now, if you want to find the area of the whole thing, you can use the area of triangle, the area of triangle, right? Area of triangle plus the area of this white part. These two add together, you can get the required area. Okay, so now I try to find the coordinates, right? So the first, the straight line is y equals to 6 minus x okay now at the point r at the point r right the x is 0 so you substitute x equals to 0 inside the equation you get y equals to 6 so the 
the coordinate of r is 0, 6. Okay, next I try to solve the two equations, the straight line and the curve. So when I try to solve the equation of the straight line and the curve, the point of intersection is S. So from there, I can find the coordinates of S, right? So this is the equation of the straight line. This is the equation of the curve. So I substitute one into another, substitute, substitute into the other side, sorry. The 2x, y minus 2x, correct, correct. So the, the 6 minus x is here. I put inside the y here, okay? So uh, this is correct. Eh? So solving the equation, I have two numbers here. x equals to 2 and x equals to 8. Now why is that x equals to 2 and x equals to 8? Right? x equals to 2 is, is this point here. x equals to 8 is another point over here x equals to 8 is the point of intersection over here. So actually we have two points of intersection between the curve and the straight line. One is here, S, and another one is at the bottom. Now the S, the coordinate is 2. The S one, the coordinate is 2. And this one, at the bottom here, the coordinate is x equals to 8. But we don't want this, this point. We don't want this point. So uh, we don't want this point, we only choose the x equals to 2, right? So x equals to 2, y equals to 4. So we have this coordinate of this point S. Any question? We try to find the point R, we try to find the point S, right? Try to find the coordinate of these two points. Any question? No, teacher. No. Huh? So, next one. So, if you want to find the shaded area, you use the area of the triangle, the green color, plus the area of this white color. So, it's the area of a triangle QRS. Okay, I put a point here, I call it Q. Q. I put a point here, I call it Q. Q, R and S. The area of the triangle plus the area under the curve. Area under the curve is this part here. The white color here with the dotted lines. Okay. Any question? Area of triangle plus area under the curve. There are two parts. One green color, one white color. Any question? No, uh, no, we continue. Now, area of triangle is half base times height. Half base times height. Okay. Then the area of the white color here is integrate x dy. x dy. Right? From 2 to 4. This point here is 2. The point P is 2. Then the until the point Q there is 4. Right, because we found out the y equals to 4 here. Okay, one more time. Huh? Right. Now, if you want to find the shaded area, the, the, red, the red dotted line, you have to use the area of this triangle, right, plus the area under the curve here. Area under the curve here, the white color, is from this point, 2 to 4. 2 to 4. And you have to integrate x dy, right? 2 to 4. Then the area of triangle is half base times height. How much is the height here? From 4 until 6. 4 until 6, the height is 2. The base from 0 until 2. From 0 until 2. From 0 until 2. So the base is also 2. Hmm? Right. So half base times height. The height is 2, the base is also 2. And that will give us the area of the green part, the area of the triangle. And you integrate from 2 to 4, half y minus 2 square. Now y minus 2 square is this one, the equation of the curve. Right? 
but you bring the 2 over, that's why you have the half here. You see here, the 2x, you bring the 2 over, that's why you have half. Because we want to integrate x dy, x dy. What is x? x is, you have to bring the 2 over, half y minus 2 square. Any question on this? How to get the limit? Why we integrate this function, this half y minus 2 square? Understand, teacher. Understand, okay. So understand, we continue, right? So the, the area of triangle is 2, then the area of the shape the, under the curve, between the curve and the y axis, you have to integrate this. You remember how to integrate this or not? This is actually we use substitution, but we use the shortcut to substitution. y minus 2 to the power of 2 become y minus 2 to the power of 3 divided by 3. Of course, divided by the number in front of y, there is a 1 there. Right? 3 times 1 is 3. The half, no need to integrate, you just put outside. Okay. Now, you substitute in the number. Number 4, you have 4 minus 2, so it's 2 cubed. You substitute in the number 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. Right? So finally, you have 3 and 1 third square unit. Three and one third square unit. Any question? No teacher. No.